Okay. Um, generally, yeah. we, we play a lot together, so he knows how to play against Garchomp. But Krogunk, though, we've only played really like once or twice, so yeah. still maybe something he needs to get accustomed to. Is this the exact same stage? <laughs> I, I think it I is. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're getting a complete rerun. Even the, the game's cooperating finally, giving us a complete rerun. Good. All right, so. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, okay. So now, into the match. Hopefully, we're going to stick into this match. Yeah. So. All right, so, so we're just seeing, seeing some projectile game to start off. Yeah, so. Oh, we get, there's the pocket sludge. Oh, okay, so Ashikabi, from what I've seen from me, he tends to go for a lot of like the really risky options, like Dragon Rush, Stone Edge. Yeah. He really likes to go for those. But if you can make it work, then so be it. It'll work. It, oh, but just works. barely missing. Uh, All right. Oh, not get the true combo though. I know Star Attack is allowing a lot of stuff with Krogan's counter attack. We're getting a nice combo. Ooh, just barely missing with that. J A S. Oh, getting the grab press, oh, but not, not doing anything off of it. Yeah, he decided that instead of going for a confirm, he's just gonna go for risks. But it is working out for him. He is in the lead yeah. right now. Star Attack is a sticky situation. Oh, However, the thing is. One thing about Krogan is that now that he's in Rage, after I can see mechanics, um, his luck-based mechanics in Rage actually increase. So oh. things like um, like what you get off of Gunk Shot, um, you'll actually get more like, say, boulders or tornadoes. Uh, I think that applies to all of his luck-based mechanics. It also applies when he's in Burst, he has better luck as well. Yeah. This is the next match here. So, ooh, that um, foul play actually worked out. Ooh, is that bomb going to blow up? Oh, just uh. barely missing on the luck. Oh, dear. I feel like it's hard to make use of that bomb. Like it's such a such, such a big delay. Yeah. Oh, no of it. Now we have Mega Garchomp. Oh, Ooh. oh again, <laughs> again. Like I said about Atakami, go for these risky options, but it's only knocked out sorry, half of attack's health. Oh, oh going, going for the burst, but nothing straight for it. Yeah, it's a very awkward burst to land. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good punish right yeah. there. No. Good damage. Now, I don't know how much you know about Krogan. Is it that um, if he has any buffs, it does more damage with Crab, or...? No, only two buffs. Only two? Okay. Well, attack oh, buff. Oh, Crit Boulder! <laughs> That's gotta hurt. As if the regular version wasn't enough. Yeah. He's already dead. <laughs> Alright, so Sorry Tag is going up one game here against Ashikabi. Oh. Now, I wonder if we're gonna see any changes off Tag. I, I personally can't think of any, off the top of my head, any yeah. support choices or anything like that that can really help Garchomp. There's nothing like really major that I know of. Let's see. But yeah, Star Attack definitely, um, definitely doing some uh, good stuff for sure. Um, I've noticed he's not relying too much on, say, the luck-based mechanics like Gunk Shot or Poison Die. I think he's going for the more safe, like, just for trying, sure yeah. stuff. Yeah. Which is, I can, I can agree with that. Sometimes, like, especially against a character like Garchomp, where if you make one mistake, you're going to lose half your health. Playing it more safe like that in any, in any situation usually a better option. Ooh, okay, this is, wait, hang on. The bomb might affect it. Yeah, there yeah. it is. I was thinking, like, yeah, so that bomb's really good for, like, getting you out of situations like that. When you're in a really scary situation, that bomb can save you just like it did the Star right there. Yeah. Like, oh, look at that great health on Ashikabi. Wow. Krogunk does some things to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tornado in the oh. bomb. Whoa, that was. Good combos. <laughs> that, was, that was interesting right there. All right, all right. So yeah, Star Attack is really taking a commanding lead here, but Ashikabi does have his burst ready to go. Yeah. He is able to pop that and get a lot off of it. That could be enough. He seems to be in a pretty good position right now. Yeah, though. already Stick. in the wall, and there's a sand tomb right there. He's gonna get a good combo off of that. Opposite go for release X instead of doing more sand tomb. So he's really wanting this phase to end here. Just jump over him. That was actually um, foul play, what that move oh. was. So um, Krogan jumps over you the yeah. entire time until he hits the ground, he has counter frames. If you hit him at any oh. point, um, he'll hit you with an explosion, which I think does a defense buff as well. Yeah, I think it does do a defense defense. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a hard call because it's not like frame one, like say a regular right. counter would be, so it's a bit of a hard call. Yeah. So now both players are at first, but I'm wondering if Ashikabi or Sarge might want to pop it here. So Ashikabi goes first. And the reaction from Sorry Tag here. Both players are now in burst. Oh, oh, here we go. It's up. That's a confirm. Now, will this kill? The defensive buff is going to help out, but there is scaling off Tornado. I think it might. I oh, I don't know. No, uh, not quite. Yeah, a Krogan's burst does not do much damage. I, don't think, I think it, all alone, I think it does less than 200. The active pressure actually working out. Sorry Tag getting two buffs off of it. Oh. All right, here we go. The infamous Star Chomp burst. 
It's minus 20 even after a phase change. But in sorry tag and rage though. Yeah, very true, yeah. That yeah. also could be a double edged sword because like I said, Chrono yeah. and Rage has better luck. In oh. Oh, but he gets Stone, Stone Edge. Edge. No, no crit, but he might be able to kill off of it. Oh, eight oh. line, not enough. Oh, oh Dragon Rush. So, Star Attack opted for Poison Jet, which has red armor, which usually yeah. in a case like that would be useful. But because he has so, such low health, red armor yeah. still gives you damage. So therefore, you're still going to take damage, and you can still die from it. It's a very risky option without red armor. Well, again, those Dragon Rushes, sometimes don't agree with them, but sometimes I very much yeah. agree with them. Oh, he gets the boulder. He gets a bunch of chip. Yeah, a really big part about Krogan is that chip value. Yeah. Like, he gets so much off of so little. Like, this one JA can take away, like, 200 health on the shield. Yeah. Oh, Earthquake not snuffing it out there. Sorry, attacking a pretty big Wii with an attack buff as well. And here comes the burst. Oh, Tornado, oh. is that it? Oh, he confirms it. Oh, yeah, that that's is it. it. Sorry, Tag, taking it 2-0 over Ashikabi with the surprise Krogun pick. I was, I was fully expecting to say, like, a Mewtwo or something like that, which he usually does against me, but, hey, the Krogun worked out in his favor, and it... You do, it whatever you do, it works. Yeah, exactly, and he will be advancing. Uh -huh. I believe that will put him into top 12, I'm pretty sure. All right. I think so, at least. I, I'm pretty sure.